Hey guys, what's up? It's Amber. I have not done a pregnancy update for you probably since I announced that I was pregnant in the first place, and I'm sorry. That was, I don't know if I was five or six weeks pregnant then, and it was my intention to do updates more often, but honestly, I am about 17 and a half weeks pregnant now, and there's not a whole lot to update you on, or there wasn't until now, I guess. There, I mean... I had some morning sickness, I've had some headaches, but it's it's been pretty uneventful, which is good because my previous three pregnancies were not so uneventful in the beginning. Um, this one, I have to tell you, is tremendously better than my past three. With Evan, um, Evan's my oldest son, he just turned nine in October. Um, with him, somewhere around eight weeks, I started getting severe sciatic pain, and I had that same experience with Lindy and Darian. And what the doctors and the chiropractors and midwives and everybody I saw, what they kind of um, decided was that my body just dumps relaxing very early in the pregnancy. And that causes your joints to move and be flexible. And it's good because that's what's supposed to happen so that your body can birth the baby when it's time. But when you're eight weeks pregnant, when you're in the very beginning in the first trimester, it's honestly, it's kind of pointless. And all it does is wreak havoc and cause pain. Um, so if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know that um, I've been on this health journey for the past few years and I've lost quite a bit of weight. When Darian was born in January of 2013, I weighed 275 pounds um, and I had gotten all the way down to 195, I believe. So I lost a lot of weight. Um, my pre-pregnancy weight with Evan was 235 and my pre-pregnancy weight with Lindy and Darian were both 245. So with all three of my pregnancies, with Evan I think I gained 25 pounds. With Lindy I only gained about 20 pounds maybe. With Darian I gained 25 or 30 pounds. Um, so it, it wasn't a huge amount of weight I gained each time, but I did start it heavier. So this pregnancy this pregnancy, I started around 210 pounds. I had, I had gained just a little bit back. Last um, spring, I had, in April actually, I had a miscarriage. And after that, I kind of, it was a really difficult time. So I did end up gaining a little bit of weight back. So that's why I started a little bit higher than what, I, you know, I had gotten down to 195 and I started at 210. So about 15 pounds difference there. But I'm telling you that with starting at such a, a lower weight than I did any of my other three pregnancies, I've noticed a big difference. Um, I have not had any sciatic pain at all. I've had very little low back pain. I had um, a couple of weeks where it seemed like I could do the simplest of tasks and, and my back, my lower back would just seize up completely. And I went to see a chiropractor two or three times, I think, and she got that worked out and I haven't experienced that at all anymore. So, um, and then other than that, I've had, a f I guess the headaches that I've had during this pregnancy, that's the only thing, I think I've had more headaches this pregnancy maybe than the other three, but um, overall it, it's not been really bad and most of those I've been able to um, treat with either um, essential oils or just using an ice pack on my head and getting that to go away. So as far as like pain and back pain and hip and sciatic and all that, this pregnancy has been so much better than the others. Now for the exciting news as far as what we're having, we did have an ultrasound at 14 weeks. There was um, an ultrasound facility, one of the ones that do like the 3D, 4D type things, that they were training some new um, ultrasound techs I guess to work there and so they were giving away free ultrasound so I thought why not so we went in and we had the free ultrasound and half of the shots made it look like it was a girl half of the shots made it look like it was a boy I honestly thought that it was too early to tell in the first place I thought maybe they had some kind of new technology that they didn't have when I was pregnant with the other three but they didn't we go in and their ultrasound machine is the same um, so that was kind of stressful because we're like, okay, you know, <laughs> what is it, girl or boy? Um, and then when I came home and researched, I already knew that up until a certain point, um, all babies look like little boys until you get, you know, a far enough along and things kind of settle in and aren't as swollen and, and that sort of thing. So we are actually, um, it should arrive tomorrow. There is a, co a company called Sneak Peek and they do a DNA blood test um, for the mother and it's something that you can order and have it come to your house. I'm gonna do a whole video on this. 
Um, but we're gonna do that and then we'll have probably like our anatomy ultrasound somewhere around 20 weeks. We haven't scheduled that yet, so we'll just be able to have that verified. So we'll be finding out that soon and I'm gonna share that news with you. Um, everybody in the house, myself included, has a really strong feeling that it's a girl. Um, so that's when the ultrasound techs at 14 weeks thought that, you know, some of the shots was making it look like a boy. We were like, what? That's, that's, you know, completely not how we felt, um, or what that we felt that it was. So we'll see. We'll find out what it is for sure and we'll let you know. Um, what else is going on? Not much, I don't think. My third prenatal appointment is going to be this coming Monday. My midwife will be coming to my house again, so that's nice. It's really nice to not have to leave and go anywhere. And, um, I'm not wearing maternity clothes. I am wearing a lot of leggings and stretchy t-shirts. Um, I do have a couple of pair of jeans. I, thankfully, I had taken all of the clothes that I wore before I lost weight and I had them in a bin in the garage because I wanted to try to sell them because they were some more expensive brands that I had bought at Torrid and I didn't just want to take them to Goodwill. Uh, but I hadn't gotten around to selling them yet. So I went out there and got those clothes and the jeans, um, thankfully, they, they fit. So I've had those to wear and um, I've been wearing a lot of leggings and skirts and stuff by LuLaRoe and I'm honestly, <laughs> I want to buy more of those because those are so comfortable and since they're not maternity, I can wear them afterward. I thought that was, you know, a good way to go. Economical, not buying maternity clothes that, you know, after the baby comes and you lose some weight won't fit anymore. So anyway, that's my plan with that and I think that's really all that's going on. I do feel movement which is awesome. Um, I've been feeling movement for a little while, but it's getting more frequent, I guess, because the baby's getting bigger. And um, I really enjoy that. And I can feel um, my uterus now. So like I lay on the bed and I can, you know, I can feel where the top of it is. And it's amazing how much it's grown over the, you know, since my last prenatal appointment because she really couldn't feel it at all then. And now it's just been like four weeks later and it's, you know, it, it just amazes me at how fast babies grow um, in utero. So anyway, that's about it. I, I don't know if I really want to do this, but I will show you. I'll show you what my belly looks like today. Um, I'm wearing one of the LuLaRoe uh, leggings that I told you about. So anyway, here is my belly shot at around 17 and a half weeks. So here's the front view, not much going on. Here's the side view. We've got a little bit, a little bit, I guess. Um, I don't know. I was, I told my husband, I told my husband last night that, you know, I really thought that when I got pregnant again, that I would be at my weight goal, which was around 170 pounds and I hadn't gotten there yet. So I will be honest with you and tell you that uh, pregnancy weight gain is mentally a little bit difficult, but I'm trying to eat well. Um, I will say that during the first trimester when I was really, really nauseous, eating more carbs than normal was something that kind of helped settle my stomach. I tried to make sure that they were still, you know, healthier carbs as much as possible. Um, but I've not been, to be completely honest with you, I've not been as, um, as strict on myself with what I eat as I was before and I probably should be and I think that more boils down to um, a little bit of stress I guess um, and just having one more thing to worry about but I'm really trying to uh, focus that in a little bit more because I do understand the importance of good nutrition during pregnancy and I feel like we eat pretty well I just need to um, start separating you know things out like I did in the beginning when I was when I first started on this journey. So I'm trying to get you know back on track 100% with that again. And um, but that's it. I think I've let's see how much I've gained. Um, I'm 17 weeks. I think I've gained eight, maybe nine pounds so far, and that's it. So not too bad. Um, doing pretty good with that. I do need to get an exercise routine uh, prenatally. I haven't done that yet. I keep meaning to look up something as far as like pregnancy yoga, um, something that may be like a YouTube series that I can watch and, and do right here at home because I'm... that is my 17 week 
update and uh, keep an eye out and I will put up the video for the sneak peek DNA test that we're probably going to be doing tomorrow. If it arrives tomorrow, my plan is to do the test and I'm going to film all of that so you guys can see it in case you're interested in, um, in doing that yourself and then um, mail it back to them and I think I'm supposed to get the, the results pretty quickly. I'm hoping to have them before Thanksgiving so we can let our family know at Thanksgiving uh, the results. So anyway, thank you so much for sticking around for this update. I've rambled enough. I hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you later. God bless.